Mexico. She bloodied up Molly Heisel last time out. Here's how they stuck up. Five years, the older is Heather Clark. One inch the taller Clark. And the reach, four inches, goes the way of Heather Clark, who also does come in as the favourite with the bookmakers. Minus 235. Mariana at plus 185. The fight gauge, our engineer, expert fight gauge, striking even, ground game Mariana, speed even, strength Mariana, endurance goes away of Heather Clark. We are ready for this feature, a women's match. Let's go up to Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our feature belt of the night, and it's in the XSC Women's Division. Let's go! In the blue corner, her fighting style, she's a finisher, standing in at five feet, six inches tall. She weighed 125.2 pounds. Tonight, she brings a professional record. Four wins, one defeat into the cage. Representing Jackson's MMA and fighting tonight from Albuquerque, New Mexico, please welcome the Hurricane Heather Clark. And her opponent in the red corner, she's a kickboxer. Five feet, five inches tall, weighing 125 pounds. She brings into the cage a perfect record, four wins and no defeats. Tonight she represents American Top Team and she fights from West Palm Beach, Florida. Please welcome Mariana, the crushing Russian, K-Fix! Our referee in charge, Gary Copeland. Fighters, to the center of the cage, please. All right, listen up, fighters. You both receive your instructions in the back. Expect you to listen to my commands at all times. Have a clean, fair fight. Any questions out of you, Blue? How about you, Red? Let's touch them up for fair fight. The intensity between those two women, you could cut it with an electric toothbrush. Heather Clark comes in the favorite. Mariana Kaifitz comes in undefeated. Four and one versus four and oh. Both women raring to go, as are we. Gary Copeland to get us underway. Michael Chabello, Pat Milicic with you. Round one, you ready, Blue? Ready, Red? Fight. Who can impose their will early? Both women in orthodox stunts. Inside thigh kick, very high to the femoral profunda. And again from Heather Clark. Then switches to the outside thigh. Nice leg work early on from Heather. Ties her up. Muay Thai clinch. Lands knees in the midsection. And Mariana presses her back against the guy. There's those transitions we talked about from striking to grappling. Did a nice job sneaking the double underhook in off the punches. Women's ranking. In contention here tonight. A lot of eyes on this one, a lot of talk about this one. As Mariana looks to take the next step up in her career. And Heather Clark too. I know there's a lot of females watching out there. I know Tara LaRosa is watching this one live on HDNet. She tweeted earlier today and said, hey, the winner may be a possible future opponent for me. Jab there from Mariana, throws the right hand down the tube, dropped her lead glider. There was a counter right there from Heather. Look at the difference in their stances when they strike. Kaifetz has more of a boxing stance when she throws her jab, turns completely sideways. Nice left hook from Mariana Kaifetz. Where Heather Clark has more of a Muay Thai stance. We'll see which one pays off. Clark would want to throw more outside kicks. Fakes the right, then throws it down the tube, does Mariana. A little bit of swelling, and is the father, Brad, uh, Heather Clark in her corner. Hell of a nice guy. And got his daughter started in martial arts. Heather Clark formerly played hockey professionally for the National Women's Hockey League in Canada. Inside Viking from Mariana, nicely done. Straight right hand then throws a look. Inside thigh kick again from Mariana. Lever kick off the lead leg from Heather Clark. A lot of action early on in the stand up here, Pat. Yes, Kaepernick's doing a good job changing the level of her attack. Throwing the straight right to the body and then coming back upstairs with the hook into the cross. Look at her doing it again. Smart of her to do that. A lot of movement from Heather Clark. Held to right hand. Nicely done. Front kick to the midsection. Beautifully. Tuck the balls of the feet into the belly button. That's what you've got to do with a front kick or a deep kick as it's known in Muay Thai. Splay the toes, dig the balls of the feet in. Smaller see, surface. Down again in the corner. Sorry, smaller surface on that front kick, like you said, the ball of the foot's like a ball peen hammer hitting you in the stomach. Misses with a high right roundhouse. Does Heather. Two minutes 35 remaining. Fires out the front kick off the lead leg. Inside leg kick from Mariana. Right hand as the lead punch didn't work for it. Trip tucked down attempt from Heather to no avail. Still standing. 
got to be careful with that type of trip. Stepping that far, you're taking your own post away from yourself. You can get dumped on your back also. And then pushed up against the cage here. Hayfitz, as I said earlier, dedicates herself full time for his martial arts career after a very productive television career at A&E. She gave it all up to pursue her love. It's paid off so far. Such a front kicks Kayfitz, draws the short straw. Nice head kick. Inside thigh kick, throws the right hand. These girls are capable strikers, man. This is this is very good striking. Both in centre cage, not wanting to give it up here. 90 seconds remains in the round. Body shot, left hook to the head from Mariana Kayfitz in a high right round. Just gets picked off by a front kick. And the times the front kick very well. Good outside leg kick. And again, Mariana's going to check those ones. Leads with the right. Four punch combination, then backs out of trouble. So far, KFETS has been more effective because she's been more aggressive. She's coming forward on her attack. She brings her feet with her well. Overhand right. Went high and went nowhere from in the clock. And Kayfish is faking the right. Drips off to her left. One, two, Kangaroo down the center corridor. Mariana still back on top of her. Not relenting in the pace here as Pakistan always coming forward. And she's got more combinations than a taco plate. 44 seconds on the clock here in the first round. And the clock's got to get to work now. She's allowing Mariana to beat her to the punch. Yeah, Mariana's now walking her around the ring a little bit. Beautiful lead from Mariana. Oh, Heather in top position. Now let's see. The wrestler took position inside half guard. Great position for Heather Clark. Yeah, she went for broke on that throw. I mean, she stepped as deep as she could and put the hip in. Almost got herself in trouble, but was able to finish it and put Kayfetz on her back. Final 10 seconds. Mariana Kayfetz being put on her back in the final seconds of the first round after controlling pretty much the entire round on the feet. Now there's blood coming from Heather Clark. Oh my, her right eye is an absolute mess. We'll try and get a shot of that one between rounds, but her right eye looks like a Picasso painting. It is oh sealed God. shut. They, they, they could stop this one, Pat. That's, that's terrible. Wow, look at that. If she can't see under that right eye, they'll stop this. And I'm not sure how it happened, Pat. That jab might have been it. Or no, that was on the other eye. Maybe it was a clash of heads on the throw. I'm not quite sure. Well, the ringside physician has checked her out and seems to be okay to go on here. But that eye is completely swollen shut on the right. Which means that Mariana could use it to her advantage if Heather's pretty blind in that right eye. Mariana's got to come at it from the left side, you know, throw the eye kick. Continue to circle off that way and just work the angles into that damaged eye. Yeah, very good observation, Michael. That's definitely going to be her strategy. If her corner has recognized that, I'm sure they're telling her. They're going to work on it as best they can. It's a jab, too, but that was to the left eye. It's on the right eye that damage has been caused here to Heather. We're still not quite sure where it came from. Was there an accidental head clash? I mean, it's a type of line for a head clash. Go around, don't worry. What would be going through Heather's mind here, Pat? Knowing she's sustained that. That's huge. Well, you know, most, 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 most certainly keep your dang right hand up, but they, they may be trying to stop this. I'm not quite sure she was shaking her head in disappointment. No one has told Mariana if they're stopping it, are they now? Yeah. I think the referee has called it off on the doctor's advisor. Mariana jumping for joy, embracing her corner crew here. It looks like she'll win via Dr. Stoppage. Well, that's unfortunate because we had a good fight going there, Michael. That was a fun fight to call. I'm still not quite sure where it came from. Here's the throw. I don't know if they clashed head somewhere in here, maybe. Let's we'll see if she comes down and smacks her head. No. Nothing there that would have caused swelling to the eye that I saw. Still trying to work it out. Is eyes fine still? Yeah. Right eye there didn't take anything. I don't think there's anything coming down. 
and you saw at the end of the round, blood just started to leak. And okay, it looks like Pat Milicic is going to go in the cage and do a bit of exploring for us to try and find out exactly what happened to the right eye here of Heather Clark. What was turning into a fantastic contest has ended well, abruptly, prematurely, ended in favour of Marianne Kaifer. She was doing incredibly well. Controlling the stand up in the opener. And let's go to Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, after round number one, the doctor came in and called the stop to this battle. Your winner by TKO due to a doctor stoppage from the red corner, the Prussian Russian, Mariana So it looks like Pat's in there now with uh, Mariana. Let's go up to you, Pat. All right, Mariana, great fight. We had a really good first round there. You were very aggressive. Was that your intentions coming into this fight? Yeah, I worked a lot on my boxing. My boxing coach, Manny Cedroni, and I really wanted to come out and show that I'm a striker at heart, and I wanted to prove that I was a better striker than her. I really wish it could have gone second and third round, but um, Heather's a warrior, so I commend her for it. Good. Well, was that a little disappointing, the fact that the swelling happened? We're not even sure exactly how it happened. We looked at several replays, couldn't see where it came from. Yeah. Was it a little disappointing to have the fight end that way? A little bit. I wanted to get some more work in, and Heather's a warrior. I'm sure she wanted to, you know, continue. But I'm glad to get the stoppage. I just want to shout out my team, ATT. Thank you, Palm Beach Boxing. Really appreciate my sponsors. For all in all, thank you so much for the support. I love you guys. And what's up next for you? Um, we'll see. We'll see yet. I'm really happy with the XFC, so continue to put on some big fights in the future. Right. Well, Mariana K. Fett's great fight. Congratulations from Knoxville and all of us at HDNet. Mariana K. Fett's remains undefeated. She is now 5-0. And, oh, and in that first round, though, we would have liked to have seen it gone longer. John Prisco there with Mariana. In that first round, she did control the stand-up and showed why. She was one of our 12 fighters to watch on HDNet in 2012.